Hello everybody, KG5EBI here. My name is Jay and I'm going to walk you through one of the coolest mods you can do to your node within 15 minutes. Uh, this is for people with accessibility issues or uh, I know my dad, for example, he's working outside often and when he hears somebody come back with an email address or a call sign and he'll always say, shoot, I didn't hear it, I didn't catch it wish I could rewind it you know and there's people with hearing issues as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make this accessible uh, all the uh, archived audio so we need to open up our node I'm gonna I got a terminal open here and I need to connect to one of my servers that's hosting a node in the cloud so we're gonna find one here this one looks good um, so we're gonna log in it's gonna require my password which is uh, one two three four it's also the password for my email address and my ATM access if you'd like to test that out so once we're in, we're going to clear the menu out and get back to, to a command prompt. Um, and at the command prompt, we're going to sudo negative s, which gives temporary sudo access. Uh, so you don't have to type sudo constantly. So, And even though I do that, I, I often in the habit of typing, as you've just seen, typing sudo. So app update. This up makes sure everything's up to date and running properly. Uh, and then we're going to do an app install of the Apache 2 web server. Uh, and if you have Allmon running, you likely already have this, but typing it a second time is no big deal. Clear is the heavily used command that I use the most. I, I app-get install ffmpeg, which is going to convert our .wav files to an mp3 file. And there I use clear again. So I hope you're keeping up. If not, you got the pause button. So we'll go through this. Um, next, we're going to do an install of a script called rsync which is basically a way to make sure files and directories are in sync because we're moving files from one directory to another uh, this is a really good code uh, really great program it's been around for years and it's just easier than using copy and you can you can use um, scripting with rsync easily you know bash scripts and whatnot so we've got rsync next we're going to edit the rpt.com file we're just going to look for one line in here this is really easy to do uh, most people don't understand what this line is, but you'll get it in just a moment. That archive directory, and if it's not existing, you can go ahead and type it in under your node number uh, if it's not there right now. But anyway, if it's commented, go ahead and uncomment it and make note of the directory that things are being saved to. Once we save this file by hitting Control X, uh, I think once we save this file, hit Control X, then confirm with the Y and hit Enter. Uh, now it'll begin recording any audio onto that drive. So next we're going to start writing a script. So if you're not into bash scripts, you're going to learn real quick here. So we're going to do a hashtag exclamation point slash bin slash bash. That identifies this following text as a script file. We're going to go ahead and just start typing this out. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is rsync from that directory that I asked you to take note of and we're going to rsync and copy the files from that directory into the web server directory of slash ver oh by the way when I say your node number that I'm just going to type in my node number you know that if you type in my node it's not going to work on your system just type in your node number here uh, as far as that directory path and the star dot wave means any wave file so it's going to copy any wave file from that directory over to ver slash www slash html slash library now we don't yet have that library directory created but we'll create that in just a moment so once it copies all those dot wave files we want to get rid of the original files because we don't want the hard drive filling up so we're going to go ahead and type in uh, remove or the command in linux for remove which is rm uh, let me think here if I can get it without typos remove any file uh, in the directory of slash ver slash log slash asterisk slash temp slash 42177 slash asterisk which is any dot wave file and notice dot wave is all caps it is not a lowercase and that is very important it's crucial that you that you make note of that and type it correctly so it's got all the files have been moved and copied then we've removed the original now we're going to change directories CD actually we're not changing directories but the script itself is going to change directories into that HTML 
slash library directory. So once it's in that library, then we can go ahead and work with the files a bit. And this is this is all a little complex. Uh, it's going to search for any file in the directory uh, with the dot wave extension. Uh, and it's going to go through some commands. Like I said, it's a little complex. And I'm just going to save a copy of this script and make it accessible and publicly available on uh, Google Drive or whatnot so you all can download it. Just remember when you open it up, before you put it on your server or after you put it on your server, make sure you change the uh, node number to match your node number because obviously your server is not saving anything under my node number. So what we're doing, scripting is not that hard, but I, I have a little problem trying to multitask and talk at the same time I'm typing it. But I'll try to explain a little bit what it's doing there. The, you know, we've changed in the directory, and then it's searching for any wave file or any file that has the extension of .wave, all caps. And it's going to do a name echo, so it's going to copy or echo the name. And then, you know, echo is not that difficult to explain. We all know it's basically it's going to repeat the name. And then we've got the name in place, but now it's time to actually do the transcoding or the, or the re-encoding of the file to convert it from a .wave to a .mp3. So for that, we're going to use that command ffmpeg. Just give me a moment to try to remember how I wrote all this out because I don't remember. I don't want to mess this up because people are going to try to be using this. Um, so the codec we're going to be using is going to be that lame. We haven't installed this in yet, but we need the lame encoder for MP3. Um, but we'll install that in just a moment. So we got two things we've got to do. We've got to create that directory of library, and we've got to install the lame encoder. I think, I think those are the only two things we're really missing here. We're going to apply one filter for the audio and increase the volume um, up by about 15, 15 decibels or 15%. I think it's 15 decibels, 15 dBs. Um, because it does tend to record a little quiet, uh, and if you're listening through a browser with no enhancements at all, it's, it's going to be a little quiet. However, the the nodes when they when they ID that can be a little loud, so be cautious. <laughs> be cautious with your headphones. If you don't have any hearing damage, I don't want to cause any additional. So we've got the conversion taking place, and then we're going to go ahead and put the name in, which is basically the timestamp on that file and then end it with a dot mp3 so that does the conversion let me look the code over here and make sure it's all correct like I said I don't want any errors it looks it looks like it might work and then we're gonna go ahead and remove the original wave file now we've already done this we removed the wave file but that was out of that other directory now we're removing the wave files out of the HTML slash library directory I'm gonna give it a, just a quick minute to sleep there Give me a minute to glance over the code. And it all looks okay. So we're going to hit a control X, control plus X at the same time to exit from the text editor. And then it's going to ask us if we want to write the file and overwrite the file or whatnot. So we'll hit control X. Just looking it over. And then, yeah, control X, yes, and then enter. That gets us out of there. Now we're going to go ahead and fix the couple mistakes that we've made so far of not having everything in place. So uh, we've got to make that text, that, that script, executable. So sudo chmod u plus x and then the script name. That way it can be executed and run. Then we need to make the file directory of library. <laughs> you notice I use that clear command again. So make directory slash var html or var www dot. Oh, like I said, multitasking is not my thing. So it's Linux. We don't need to check it. We know it made it. And then the last thing we need to do is download that lame MP3 encoder. All right, now we're good. We can clear the screen and I'll run the script. Now, my node has a lot of recordings on it already, so it's going to take a couple of minutes to run through all this encoding and re-encoding process. But we'll do bash, we'll do bash, and then the script name, and you'll see activity. It's encoding everything that I have. It's moved it all already. The move, the move only takes a fraction of a second. And then re-encoding, 
it takes a little bit and it's a little bit of a workout on the system but it's not enough of a strain that anything interferes with the operation of the all-star node there's still people transmitting on the node there's no hiccups it's you know it doesn't damage any of the operation of the node to be doing this simultaneously so you can have this script running every five seconds and that's just fine now i haven't run this script in a couple of hours so there's probably probably a couple of hundred files here but it takes about i'd say well it's done it took about 30 seconds all right and you can see i run it again there's no files to run so next we bring in the web browser and thanks to html5 you don't have to do anything it's already done and you're able to listen to some files so there's all this stuff and then notice they're all mp3 files and because it's html5 and mp3 yeah, we don't used have to, to go to play it yeah but it used to yeah, but it used to. The player is built in because we've converted to MB3s. So we'll listen. Yeah, they told me they could do surgery on my back, but I would probably be in more pain if I had to for the rest of my life. This was a QSO a couple of days ago on the uh, the win system between a couple of veterans. It is beyond. It's full contact combat fishing. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. We still got Kim Jong-un or whatever. Hey. Good old Korea. <laughs> well, I hope you learned something. I did, and I'm, I'm happy to share what I learned. I hope you all had a great time, and uh, the best to you and yours. KG5VBI, 73s.